There's a lot of fear in the Solana community right now because of this push towards the downside. However, in today's video, I'm going to tell you why that's not something we should be worrying about because something very significant that is happening right here on the charts. In today's episode, we're going to look at Solana predictions. Let's hey guys, so, so the last video I brought you on Solana was a few days ago. We had a break to the upside here where we found resistance at around the $175 level. And I said if we couldn't break through this significant area that we would be taking a dip back down towards approximately $155. Obviously, we have taken a dip a little bit lower than that. Finding support at this key level here. And if we look back through time, we can see that we found resistance here, support here, and support here, and then more resistance here, showing that this is a significant area for Solana. So what is happening right now on the charts? Why is this area so significant for us as Salada holders and why can I be so confident in telling you that I think that this is the bottom for the current Solana price and we're going to see a push from here. So, so obviously this is my opinion and not financial advice but if you see what we have here is we had this low yesterday on the four hour chart around 12 hours ago and now we've put in a slightly higher low which is obviously something that is quite significant for us. Also when you have a breakout like we've had here you do always come back pretty much for a retest and we've come back and we're retesting this level at $153. Previous lines of resistance then flip and turn into support. So ultimately what we would expect to see here is a bit of a bounce towards the upside, which I'll bring you some price predictions for in a moment. If, if we, we bring, bring out the Fibonacci retracement tool, we put it from the all time high down to this swing low here, then we, then we can see something significant on the charts. What we can see significantly right now is the 0.382 level, which is which is sat at around $153. Now, this is the same line that we've just been talking about in terms of the risk support and resistance there. And this is showing that we are currently sat just below that price because that line comes in at 153.7 and we're currently about 80 cents below that line. You really need to see is this four hour candle not closing below it and being able to push back towards the upside on this. What we can also, see guys is this falling channel here forming quite nicely where we've got multiple times we're starting to get lower highs and lower lows and ultimately what this is is quite a bullish pattern it might not feel like it as the price falls this is somewhat of a consolidation pattern and we could likely see a break to the upside from here as long as this level is able to hold however even if we do see a bit of a dip to the bottom i think the really bottom price realistically right now would be the bottom of this channel at around 149 dollars and if we do see that then i think we'll bounce very fast towards the upside and i think in the next sort of four to eight hours we are going to be seeing a push back towards this level at around 158 159 dollars where we will see a breakout some sort of a bounce and then a push back in terms of a target for this and there is a bigger target which we're going to look at momentarily but we would take from the top of this all the way down to the swing low here and bring it up to here from our potential breakout point which i believe would be around here it might take a little bit more time in which case we'll move slightly sideways but that would bring us to 185 dollars Obviously, as I've mentioned, previous resistance becomes support, so we could see resistance coming in at around the $177 level on the way up uh, because of significant trading volume going on in there. I want to also tell you that we're still in play from this large chart pattern, and this also has a significant breakout position where we'll bring it from here and drop it down to the bottom here, moving up to where we had our breakout from this white pattern, and we can see that that would move us up to around $221 which is pretty much in line with where we can see the all-time highs. But that's not all, guys. I want to show you something else that I can see forming on this chart that should be quite interesting for us. We could say that this is somewhat of a head at the bottom. Now, it's obviously not particularly tidy. And we could say that we're potentially forming somewhat of another shoulder and maybe, just maybe, another sort of a shoulder here. Now obviously this part here makes it less than ideal. I want to show you if we take it from a rough uh, a rough neckline and then move it up towards this headline and then we can move it back up and we can find our target here guys. We can see that this is pretty much in line at $223 with this one on the right at $221 showing a good deal of correlation between the two. So guys in my opinion if we are able to hold this level break back through this line here and continue to push 
back then then this is going to be our target price at around 220 dollars obviously taking profits on the way up at various levels of resistance which we will come across if we are rejected at this level here which i think is less likely due to this current chart pattern i think realistically then potentially we'll be looking at around 148 dollars before our next bounce however i think putting in this higher low right now is quite bullish for the Solana price. If we get rejected from all of it, then the potential bottom would be around this level at $138, but I think that's very much the worst case scenario for Solana. I could be wrong, guys, so obviously go away and do your own research. Thanks very much for watching. Hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and smash the subscribe button if you haven't already. Bye-bye.